Can I have it like that? You got it like that. Can I have it like that? Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Doris Burke will be along too from the sideline. The Washington Wizards here at home in an interconference matchup. It should be a good one. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. They've got Gallinari. Kenneth Fareed is out there with Wilson Chandler. Then there's Foy. And it's Lawson. And it's the one. Paul Pierce is a 16-year veteran, and last season his first not in a Celtics uniform. It took some getting used to, both for him and for us. Here's Wall. Nails the 16-footer. Wall's got the opening field goal of the game for the Wizards. Lawson drives in. Free dishes to Lawson. The Nuggets moving the ball around. And it's Randy Foy with the three. Poor job defensively, giving him such a clear look at that three-point shot. There's the pass to Wall. Kicks to Nene. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. And things are going to come way too easy for him if he can get that deep post position. I agree with you, Steve. You've got to deny him the ball down there as best you can. Nice shot by Foy. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. And the shot is good. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead him with a pass like that one. No good from Lawson the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Savage. That's that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Yeah, especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. And yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over him. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. Two points. Well, Denver in the post-mellow years has been a collection of good players, but you always have to wonder if they'll have a low ceiling because this team does not have a so-called superstar. And Boy with the clear path to the hoop. But this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. And that one's good. At that point, Denver has done well without what most would call a superstar, but obviously that takes its toll come playoffs. It really does. I mean, you need somebody that you can really rely on as your go-to guy, the one who gets it done for you in the clutch, and they haven't quite established that player, and yet they're still competitive. Randy Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Kevin Sheriff and he's checked in for Gortat. Humphreys comes in for Nene. Otto Porter Jr. He's checked in for Paul Pierce. And Sessions subbed in for John Wall. Nelson gets to Arthur. Takes the three. James. Kept alive. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards. Really bringing energy and life to his team. Boy, that's embarrassing, guys. He's going to have a hard time living that one down later when they watch it on tape. Now, here is Nelson. Fires from the wing. Feeds it to Barton. Tries a three. Here's Nurkic. And it's Humphreys with the rebound. 
Wizards trailed by three. And finished off by Beal. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Nelson kicks to Hickson. Seven-foot shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. For Washington, they've gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Porter passes to Sessions. So they take the lead. Sessions has got his first points of the game. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, no team able to build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. What do you think, Steve? Well, both teams still kind of feeling each other out here, and uh, neither team has been able to, to find an edge in this game. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. It's the Wizards up by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Chris Humphreys is out there with Pierce. Then it's Otto Porter Jr. And it's Bynum. And it's Serafin in the five, roaming the paint. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Shooting for Washington. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Denver. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And I like the physical play we're seeing, too, because this is a club that's really pounding the paint area and scoring inside. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Nene comes in for Chris Humphreys. And it's John Wall in for Porter. Well, Danilo Gallinari back in action after missing all of last season after surgery to repair his meniscus back in 2000. Nine months later, it was decided that he needed an ACL reconstruction as well. So it's been a tough couple of seasons for Gallinari. And the Wizards making a change here. Gortat's checked in.
Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And it's time for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Something changes for Philadelphia. Sims is checked in, and it's Isaiah Cannon in for Jason Richardson. And Detroit with a change here, too. Karan Butler is checked in for Tayshawn Prince. And Detroit looking at who they've got. Monroe and Drummond there inside. Reggie Jackson out there with Jody Meeks, and it's Butler in at the three slot. Shot clock at six. For the three, it's hauled in by the 76ers. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. They had major problems at the charity stripe in that game. It was interesting. They just could not make free throws. Yeah, and that's frustrating to watch, especially on the road where your opportunities at the line tend to be a little more sparse than when you're at home. Boy, you've got to cash in on it. Jody Meeks. Let's find out what Doris Burke is for us. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Stan Van Gundy said to the team. He wants this game played at breakneck pace as much as possible. He was very clear saying the fast break is going to be our best friend today. He also said he wants them going hard to the boards at both ends of the floor, not just the defensive backboards. We'll be watching how these adjustments work. Kev, there's still a lot of time left in this game. And thanks for that story, Doris. Well, you know, Greg Monroe is a bit of a tweener defensively, not as quick as some power forwards and not as big and strong as some centers, but I think he's made strides at the defensive end of the floor and has become pretty good at defending either one of those positions. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Well, Andre Drummond was kind of a late bloomer when it came to basketball, really. Was pretty uncoordinated as a kid. He'd struggle to make layups early on. It wasn't until around the age of 14 that he really started to show some problems. And for Drummond, a different upbringing than a lot of blue chippers. His mother's focus was squarely on academics and his character not on a future in the NBA. Uh, in fact, one time he was supposed to attend a basketball camp hosted by LeBron James, but his mother held him out. because he'd forgotten to do his laundry. Smith checked in for Rope. Detroit also making some changes. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Monroe. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a, a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand.